Wineguard Traveler Dish Conversion. This video will guide you through the process of installing a Traveler Dish Conversion Kit. The Traveler Dish Conversion Kit includes a reflector and a feed arm assembly with LMB and sheath cable. The tools needed to complete this installation are a 1 half and 5 16 socket wrench, a 1 quarter and 3 16 Allen wrench, and a 7 16 wrench. If converting a DirecTV Swim Traveler, you will need to locate and remove the swim power inserter and splitter from the coax line. If left in line, these components will cause communication issues between the receiver and the antenna. To start, we will need the system raised up off the roof. If the system is not currently on, please power it on to raise it off the roof. Once it is up off the roof in a workable position, press and hold power and select on the interface box to power the system off without stowing. If your system is in the up position already, press and hold power and select on the interface box to power the box off. Now we can get on the roof with the tools and parts. If you are installing the kit to a new factory turret with no current provider hardware, please skip to the timecode on the screen. Once on the roof, let's start by disconnecting the sheath cable from the vertical ports using the 7 16 wrench. The number of cables will vary based on the original Traveler model. Now remove the P-clip holding the cable to the elevation arm using the 5 16 socket. Using the half inch socket wrench, remove the nuts and bolts that secure the reflector in place, then remove the reflector and set it aside. Be careful to support the reflector when removing the last bolt. Depending on your version of Traveler, you will have either a 4 bolt or 2 bolt style reflector. With the reflector removed, use the half inch socket wrench to remove the 4 bolts that secure the arm assembly in place, then set the arm assembly aside. Be sure to support the arm assembly when removing the last bolt. Use the 3 16 Allen wrench to remove the four screws holding the adapter plate in place, then set it aside. Take the dish adapter plate and flip it over. Note the post sticking out from the back of the plate. This post will set in the hole on the skew housing. Place the adapter plate on the skew housing aligning the post with the hole. Then use the 1 quarter inch Allen screws to secure the plate in place. With the plate secured, take the dish arm assembly and align the holes on the bracket to the holes on the adapter plate as shown. Now use the 3 16 Allen screws to attach the bracket to the adapter plate. We are now ready to install the reflector. Attach the reflector to the arm assembly bracket using supplied nuts and bolts. Apply each nut by hand until secure, then use the 7 16 wrench to tighten the nuts a quarter turn. Locate the cable tie on the sheath cable and attach the P-clip to the right of the cable tie. Secure the P-clip to the elevation arm using the 5 16 screw. Attach the coax cables to ports A, B, and C. These can be connected in any order. If you have a D port, you will not connect to it. Instead, use the provided F cap on the D port. If connecting a hybrid LMB, connect the cable with the red colored end of the C port and the other cable to the A port. While on the roof, check the green label on the turret base. Note whether it says LG2112 or SM0022. With the hardware installed, we can get back into the coach and program the system for the DISH satellites. Power the interface box on. Allow it to connect to the antenna and start searching. Then press and hold the enter button. With the enter user menu on the screen, press the select button to move the asterisk to yes, then press enter. With search mode on the top line, press the select button twice to put installation on the top line, then press enter. When prompted for the install password, press enter four times. With select antenna on the top line, press enter. Use the select button to put the asterisk on the correct mount type for your system. If the label read SM0022, put it on SM mount. If it was LG2112, put it on LG mount. With the asterisk on the correct mount type, press enter. When prompted for a password, the password is the four digits after SM or LG, so either 0022 or 2112. To set the password, use the select button to cycle the highlighted digit. Once the correct digit is selected, press enter to move to the next digit. Repeat until you have entered the correct password. After entering the correct password, you will have a list of provider options. Use the select button to cycle through that list until dish 1000 is on the top line. Then press enter. It will ask yes or no. Press select to move the asterisk to yes, then press enter. It will indicate in progress, then success. Press enter. 
Use the Select button to cycle through the available options until installation is on the top line. Then press Enter. With Select Antenna on the top line, press Select 8 times to put Exit on the top line. Then press Enter. You'll be prompted to power off. You can choose either Yes or No. Choosing Yes will power the system off. Choosing No will have the system search for the DISH satellites. Use the Select button to choose your desired option, then press Enter. Congratulations, you have successfully converted your Traveler to receive the DISH satellites. Remember that if you've converted a DirecTV Swim Traveler, you will need to remove the Swim Power Inserter and Splitter from the coax line to prevent communication issues between the receiver and antenna. If you were not successful in completing this installation or have questions, please contact WineGuard Customer Support at 800-288-8094 or email help at WineGuard.com.